Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to use instance segmentation and we will create our own custom instance segmentation and then we will detect the size of objects. So this is the setup as you can see friends. This is what the USB web camera stand as you can see I have set the camera like this way. This is what the USB web camera. So I have set the camera like this way so I can get the object view like this okay this is the object which we will detect using instant segmentation volini tube medical tube so we will we will capture the images using this camera angle okay as you can see the camera angle is like this way so it will capture the volini tube images so this is the setup this is the setup as you can see you can set up as per your requirement so this is the setup this is the object this is the camera so now we will simply move on our desktop so friends now we are on our desktop machine and i have created a new repository for this project so i will mention the link inside description box simply copy paste the link inside web browser then go to the code click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository so we downloaded now just open file manager go to the downloads this is what our repository real-time object size estimation extract all click on extract it will extract our repository as a folder now as I mentioned first we need our data set so for data set we will use our USB web camera so open img.py so friends this is what our img.py so first we want to install opencv so go to the tools manage packages opencv hyphen python opencv hyphen python this is the package for img.py so opencv hyphen python first package click on install button done it will install opencv hyphen python now we, we will create images folder we will capture 100 images of the volunteer tube you can go with more for perfect object detection or perfect instant segmentation but the demo purpose 100 images is more than enough so now we will run the code it will start my usb web camera and as you can see this is what our object i'm not moving the object because it's enough 100 images is enough but in real scenario or in for production you need different different angle images of the object which you want to train so i have captured 100 images now if i open our repository which is the real time inside that you will see there is a images folder and there is our images as you can see this is what our images as i mentioned you have to add you have to add some more objects for better object detection or for better instant segmentation or also you can simply change their direction their position for perfect instant segmentation model but the demo purpose it is okay no issue so we have all the images ready now simply we will open our roboflow you have to simply sign up with your gmail account create the new account and then login then just click on new project here we will mention the project name you can mention any name i have mentioned yellow 11 annotation group again you can mention any annotation group i have just mentioned object in project type because we will go with the instant segmentation so we have to select instant segmentation click on create public project it will create our project select folder download repository images folder just click on upload and here you will see this kind of pop-up message just click on upload it will upload all the images on roboflow save and continue so we save our images then start labeling here you have to mention your gmail ids click on assign to myself it will assign all the images then click on start annotating now this is the tool which we will use so friends here we will use this polygon tool so just select it polygon tool and then let's just start from here this is what the first point second point third point four point and then just merge where we start you will see the start point is highlighted as a green just 
just merge it it so just merge and then here you will see the annotation editor but instead of drawing manually polygon what we will do let me delete we will go with automatically so we will select this tool smart polygon so just select it and then move your cursor arrow on the object like this way just object and then you will see the object is now in red color mass just left click on it and then it will automatically draw the polygon with the help of this tool automatically click on finish then mention the class name let's just say tube okay you can mention medical tube or you can just mention the name of the object which is the volini so let's just say i will mention volini volini okay so volini tube so volini is my class name then just create the class name as you can see the volini one now go for next image again we already selected the, selected the tool just move your cursor over the object left click it will automatically draw the polygon click on finish click on save go for next same way just move the move the cursor when you see your object is basically fully masked then just left click of the mouse it will automatically draw the polygon finish save it go for next image same way finish save it so this is how i will draw the polygon on each object or means on each tube image so it will take some time let me complete the process so friends we completed our annotation process this is what our last image 100 out of 100 so now we will just go here again where we have our project name yolo 11 you move your cursor it will highlight it just click on it and then here you will see the unannotated so let's just say i have skipped some unannotated some images so what i will do just click on it unannotated just click on it and again we will just uh, we will set here our mouse finish save it go for next image finish save it now we have all the images trained go for yellow 11 uh, 0 unannotated and annotated is basically 100 now click on add 100 images to data set method we will select split images between train valid set click on add images so we have completed our annotation process now let's just go here in versions and continue for pre-processing continue for augmentation and click on create so it will create now our data set let me open google collab so friends i have opened google collab click on upload click on browse and go to the download and our repository inside that i have mentioned segmentation collab file so now let's just upload it so we uploaded our collab file go to the runtime change runtime type select python 3 t4 gpu click on save and then click on connect we connected successfully now let's just run the first cell then the next cell where we will install ultraltix so we install ultraltix package now scroll down we will import the packages then we will we will cross check if our ultraltix is perfectly installed or not for that we will use yolo 11 s segmentation.pt model run the code it will cross check if the ultraltix is perfectly installed or not using dot doc jpg image from the roboflow we have done there is a one car two dog and one backpack means we successfully installed ultraltix now here this is what the code where we want to where we want to upload our data set code from roboflow so here first this from this from to yolo 11 just select it delete it because here we want to mention our new code so open the roboflow where we left the page go to the download data set here we want to select txt from txt we will select the yellow 11 yellow 11 okay click on continue now it will create the data set this is what our data set code 
copy from from to yolo 11 just copy it and mention over here after pip install just paste it run the code it will create data set folder and inside that it will paste our project folder which is the yellow 11 including test train valid along with the data.yml file done now just click on this small folder icon there will be data set folder inside that we have yellow 11 our project folder and inside that we have test train valid and data.yml file just double click on it it will open the file over here here we want to mention the path so train go to the train folder three dot copy path remove the old path from the data.yml file control plus v paste it the new path valid three dot copy path same way control plus v test same way copy path and remove the old path control plus v paste it done this is the volini our class name now we are inside the data.yml file here it is as you can see the cursor is blinking so press control plus s save the file data.yml close it we have done now here we want to mention data is equal to our data.yml file path so data.yml three dot copy path remove the old path data is equal to control plus v paste it the model which we will use yellow 11 s segmentation.pt along with the epoch 100 image size 640 now run the code and make like this way now it will start our training session so we have started our training session as you can see one out of 100 it will take some time let us just wait so we completed our training session friends as you can see our process is completed now if you go here in small folder icon our model is saved inside runs segment and train so runs then we have segment folder then we have train folder inside that we have weights folder and then the base.pt model click on three dot click on download it will download our model so we downloaded our model now let us just close the web browser open file manager download this is what our model base.pt cut it move the model inside our repository and then just paste it now friends we will run our main code where we have segmentation but as i mentioned we will not go with only segmentation we will go with the object size for that we need a real time pixel size so what we will do for that we have here test.py code so just open the test.py code this is what basically the tkinter simple code where we will get the pixel per uh, size in centimeter pixel per size okay so what i will do here we have to simply first run the code so run the code it will start our live webcam frame as you can see this is the live webcam frame simple so now what we want to do we want to take here a simple measurement scale so i will put the scale like this way so this is the scale as you can see this is the normal scale and what we want to do we want to take two point so let's just say this is what what my first point so this is the first point and then you will see so this is just let's say one one centimeter as you can see one centimeter then this is the two centimeter then this is the three centimeter and this is the four so i will go with one one centimeter two centimeter and then three centimeter so i will put here second point so it will show how many pixels do we have so the three pixels so the 80 pixels is basically three centimeters so i want to mention here how many real world centimeter is 79.5 51 pixel is basically the three centimeter because we selected the three centimeter so it will ask you to mention over here a centimeter so i will mention three centimeter let's just say you mention four centimeter so it will take that centimeter pixel 
and you have to mention the centimeter over here let me show you again i will cancel okay so i have cancelled this is the live frame again i will choose here this is the normal scale so i will choose as this this is the first point and let's just say i will go here you can see this is the 10 centimeter so i will put here a second point so 10 centimeter is basically 259 pixels so i will mention over here a 10 and then just click on ok and here you will see the calibration so the calibration is basically the pixel per centimeter so pixel per centimeter is basically 25.86 is the pixel per centimeter so this pixel per centimeter we want to mention inside our main code so what i will do i will open go to the file click on open and this is what our main code where we have segmentation where we have our image uh, sorry not image our object size estimation so open the size obj.py and here it is as you can see the pixel per centimeter we want to mention this which is we get from our test.py so 25.86 is the pixel per centimeter so i will mention over here then just save the code and let's just stop our test.py so click on stop we stop our test.py now friends on size obj.py because here we have ultralytic so we want to install ultralytics package we done with the opencv hyphen python go to the tools manage packages ultralytics ultralytics package first package click on install button done it will install ultralytics if there is an upgrade button just click on upgrade it and then we need a cv zone so cv zone package click on cv zone package just click on install button done it will install cv zone so we have open cv hyphen python ultralytics and cv zone package now friends it will run the code we have here instant segmentation we have here instant segmentation we have here mask and then with the help of cv2 dot moments we will draw the polyline we will draw the polyline on the object using the mask okay now let's just run the code why run the code and as you can see friends we are detecting here objects so let me remove the scale because the, we train the object only with the uh, only with the volume tube there is no scale that's why it's confusing right now as you can see we have the volume tube height is a 20 centimeter and the width of this volume tube is 2 centimeter so the height of the volume tube is 12 and the width of the volume tube is 2 centimeter we we use here pixel per value using the test.py and then we mention that pixel per value inside our size obj.py we have our segmentation our own custom object detection model which detect the object we have mask then we convert that mask into the polyline then we we have here c2 dot moments method with the help of that we will draw the two line which is the height and the width here it is as you can see the width and the height and then because we have a real world pixel per value so we can simply get the width and height so this is how friends you will get the real object width and height using instant segmentation i mentioned the full code there is no need to change anything from both code you have to create your only own custom segmentation model then just mention the pixel per value using the test.py mention that pixel per value inside the size obj.py and then you will get height and width in real world for your own object i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye